Stephen Darrow told me before the game, he didn't want his players talking to the refs at all. The reason he said that is because I wanted to talk to the refs <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> refs have done a solid job tonight. Could be a little bit more authoritative on some of the calls, but I think they've gotten most of them right. The Fisher goal line play notwithstanding. Jacob Fairfax in the end zone. Still stuck in their own end zone, killing the clock right now. Now Ray, go. The big one to Fisher. Lally not going to be able to keep up, but it is floating. Can he get up on him? Not going to happen. And Fisher gives a nice swing to Munez to finish it off. And finally, uh, Fisher gets to stretch his legs. Mike Denardis is the coach. Yeah, Mike Denardis. Apologies. And I think, ah, uh, I forget the other guy's name. He might be there. All the way back in their own. No saw. Getting kind of clamped back there. Eric Taylor, they're on the back of their line. They could throw it out of bounds. Is that the new two point? If you throw it out of the bounds in the back, <laughs> that's the two point. Oh, a bomb Big to Mitchell. Shot from Justin Allen. It's floating. We've got Brett. Rogers. We've got Devin Rogers in there. Oh, he gets it. Skies both of them. And then makes Fisher run, but he gets it. Trenton Spinks. Elijah Heine picked up by Justin Allen. He really hasn't been on the offense that much today. Big swing now. Taylor on the other side goes a hammer over top. Mealy Fairfax got Mitchell on the other side of the field, but instead gives it up to Freistotter doing smart ball right here. Blades it over, and that was just a beating right there by Raleigh. They did a good job. <laughs> Four seconds left. Now, obviously, the hustle are going to need a, a, a slew of breaks. Their D-line's going to have to get stops and then score quickly. They're going to have any chance to get back in this game. Megan, have you noticed that they've been playing music here at the stadium the entire game? I hadn't until you just mentioned it. I don't hate it. It's just... It's just different. Usually they play it during the breaks and then they stop it. Here's Taylor going over the top. Hammer finding wow. Charlie Muniz. That might be the nicest throw of the night right there. And it's a good thing we just showed you Tiger Bombs learn to play. You saw that 50 yard over the top throw from Eric Taylor. This is how it's done, folks. They're about 45 yards in the air from the 50 to the 5. But 20-yard end zones in the AUDL, 80 yards between the two end zones. Um, or at least from where we are in the booth to the far side. It's going straight into the wind. Really, really tough. Henry Fisher will come down with that. Which has the highest chance to, to catch a little bit of wind and, and float and for the, the defense to, to come and make a play on. Eric Taylor launches one out into space, finally breaking through this zone. Charlie, dual threat there, coming out of the handler space after helping work through um, zone matchup defense. Munoz was just looking for Streets that deep. Yeah, he was looking for that deep cut a couple times. It's so difficult to play against the Brian Jones defense. Probably easier to respect now with a headset on than when you're on the field going against the annoying play. Taylor to Fisher. That's a perfect puck from Taylor. Three all. You can stick to your finger. The, you kind of use the, the your fingers to get a little spin to get it to hang up a little bit. But sometimes it just gets stuck and comes off a little bit. Not how you want it to and ends up being a turnover. Such a long double team there. Yacht and Kittredge. Fisher fortuitous to get it away. Finding Freistadter. Lay looking deep. Eric Taylor being chased by Brownlee. Taylor elevates. He's handled all season long, but make no mistake, Eric Taylor is an athlete. He's got some hops, and he showed him right there. Get Bobby Lay almost identical to his other backhand for the goal. Almost just giving Bobby too much space. Bobby's such a good thrower. Look at that elevation there over Brownlee. Here's Bobby again. That mark is about three to four yards off of him. Bobby, you know, he's not the tallest guy. I think if you're in New York, you got to get a little closer to Bobby. Mike Drost playing without his twin brother Ryan tonight. 
First game of the year that Ryan has missed. Mike Drost, the all-time leader in blocks in AUDL history. And how about that scuber over the crowd by Eric Taylor. A lot of upside downs here. Fairfax, Hammer, Yacht pursuing, and it's Fisher again. Eric Taylor picks it up, goes cross field, Hammer, and it's a good one. That's about a 50 yard plus cross field hammer. Not an easy throw by any means from Taylor. Reset to Fairfax. This is Critella, a veteran flyer, veteran North Carolina ultimate player. Taylor to the end zone, McAllister is there and that was by far the smoothest came back to win after Raleigh led by four in the first half. Taylor launching, Fisher chased by Larberg. That's the matchup the Raleigh Flyers are looking for. Lay defended actively by Ben Lewis and he fires up a shot up the line. Taylor bids. Eric Taylor makes the catch alongside the bidding defender, Jake Reinhardt. And if I'm Dallas, I'm happy with this. This was a high stall, third or fourth option decision, and your defender had a play on the disc. This is not a clean confidence building offensive hold for the Raleigh Flyers. This is, oh crap, thank God that one worked out. 